Hi, today I'm going to show you all the wonderful things that you can achieve just by using the control key and other shortcut keys on your keyboard. So let's get started. So I've just brought up a default document with some random text in it. The reason why I wanted to do this video is because there's an awful lot that you can achieve in Word just by using shortcut keys, which can potentially save you quite a lot of time when you're trying to format um, and sort out your document. Um, and some of these I didn't even know about, so I've had to do a little bit of research as well. And I really hope that they help you as well. So the first thing we're going to do is just pop our cursor at the top here of our document. So the first shortcut we're going to demonstrate is control and the right arrow key. And what this does is it actually moves your cursor one word to the right. So instead of just constantly pressing your right arrow key and moving along one character, you can actually jump a word. And in reverse, you can do it with the left arrow key which again can be extremely useful when just trying to skip words. If you want to delete a word at a time, you can press Control Delete and you can delete a word at a time rather than a character at a time. So the next one is Control Shift Right Key and this will highlight or select a word at a time. Similarly, if you click control shift left arrow key you can reverse the process if you click control down arrow your cursor will jump down one paragraph at a time and similarly control up arrow moves your cursor one paragraph up or down if you press control shift down arrow you can select an entire paragraph and again select another paragraph and in reverse control shift up arrow will unselect a paragraph at a time if we select an entire paragraph and then we can click control b which will turn all our text bold if we click control z it will undo anything that you have done in your document and you can continue to press Control Z until you move back to where you want it to be. Now you can use Control Z quite a few times in order to move back several steps that you've taken whilst you've been editing your formatting. So for example, if I highlighted this, I turned it bold, I deleted it, I deleted this word. If I press Control Z, it will just simply take me back all of those steps. The next one, again, if I press Control Shift down arrow and I highlight a paragraph or any element of your text, if I press Control Shift F, it will bring up a font dialog box. And here you can simply go down and choose a particular font of your choice click OK and then you can change the font with just a shortcut key. And again, Control Z will take me back to where I was. Of course, many of you will know the copy and paste commands, but just to go over, if I just select this paragraph again, I press Control C, then I move my cursor to where I want that text to go and Control V pastes that text wherever your cursor is. If I wanted to delete this text and delete that paragraph, I highlight it and use Control X and it will delete that paragraph for me. If you want to find anything throughout your document, if you press Control F, it will bring up this dialog box here and then if you simply type in the word you want to find, then the results will appear with a yellow highlight over each word. And that will happen throughout your document. If I just highlight this paragraph again and then press Control U, 
it will underline your entire paragraph. If I want to find and replace something in my document, such as a word, if I press on Control G, this dialog box will appear here. If I go to the Replace tab, I can simply type in my word and then replace it with another word. If I go to Find Next, then you can see it's highlighted this word here. And if I'm happy to replace it, I click the Replace button here. And again, it will go to the next one. If I don't want to replace it, then I just click Find Next and it won't replace that word there. If I click Control End, my cursor will go to the end of my document. If I press Control Home, it will go to the top of my document, which I know can be really helpful if you have a really, really long document. If you press Control J, it will justify your paragraph, which means it will line up the right hand edge of your paragraph. I'll just show you that again. If you just watch the right hand side, Control J, and it will move so that the right hand side of your paragraph is lined up. If I highlight a section, I can press Control R and it will align everything to the right. And if I click Control L, it will align everything to the left. If I click Control E, it will align everything to the center. Another thing you can do with shortcuts is to use them to provide headings. So if we were to highlight an element of text here, say for example, we wanted to turn this into a heading. If we now just press Control Alt 1, it will change that text into heading 1. If I do the same, Control alt 2 it will reduce the size of that heading to heading 2 and again Control alt 3 will reduce it again to heading 3 and as you can see it's just also slightly changed the font and the colour. And finally Control t will give your paragraph a hanging indent. So I really hope that's helped some of you. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.